Hello everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Do you ever want it? affordable, high quality sounding deck without introducing to harshness or brightness, yet still giving you really good refined uh, precision notes? So today I'm going to share Topping E70 Velvet, which uses the Asahi Kasei AKM 4499EX Velvet Digital to Analog Converter Chip. It has standard inputs for digital inputs, Bluetooth, coaxial, USB, and optical inputs. And I don't see anything that they mention MQA, so they might have dropped it. So this one is high risk certified from GAS and every features that you may want in digital to analog conversion component is fully intact for your great music enjoying experience. As usual, good quality built and very simple to use and menu system is very straightforward that you can get into. While in the standby mode, turn off the main power button in the back and hold the volume control knob down, then turn the main power back on and that will get you into menu and all the settings that you can go through as well as it has your fully functional remote control that you can control all the functions and every features available in this E70 Velvet deck. All my music listening, I only use factory standard. Output voltage, I only use at the 4 volt instead of 5 volt. So only different is not the sound quality improvement, it will get a bit louder if you use 5 volt. I try RCA outputs as well as XLR output and Bluetooth and everything works perfectly as it should be. So you might wonder what kind of improvement this one has over ESS version. So basically uh, overall sound is more refined and tonally a bit richer. And uh, if you listen to acoustic instruments and everything, it has a very realistic feeling to it. Like if you are playing guitar, right, you will hear the uh, vibrating strings and the string vibrations coming back out from the body of the acoustic guitar vibrating front panel and you can even feel it on your chest especially if you hit the number six string on the uh, you know top end of the flat so those kind of uh, sound reproduction is this one is very well portrayed and reproduced very much enjoyable to listen for this auditioning and review, I used a few different speakers. This Pioneer TED S1EX Towers, this KEF R11 Towers, and JBL L100 Classic 75th Anniversary Edition speakers. I started off with this KEF R11 using this Leather Buck R2 R pre amplifier driving with ice power 500 watts class D mono blocks directly feed it from this Sony Music server using right cable, dataless USB cable to this E70 DAC. To my surprise, how smooth and mellow sound quality, regardless of uh, type of the amplification that I use. And then I switch over to Pioneer TED S1EX and it's still giving me similar sound signature, but more refinement and more balanced sound compared to KF R11, much better resolution as well. And then I moved over to my main amplifier, which is Dano PME SX11. All the cables and components and everything it will be listed in the video description. So what I find is all the vocals and dialogues and everything is very clearly reproduced with really good precision, sound signature and sound reproduction in every frequency range. So when I moved over to my main system, especially when I start using with the Dano PME SX11, the Class A bias design, what I find is incredibly deep sound stage it can produce, regardless of the price point. And it has smooth and engaging manner all over the frequency range. 
It's not polite. It does have a good attack. I wouldn't say it has the really roll off or that kind of sound signature. None of that. All the notes are very well defined, very good sound reproduction with every detail, every nuances. You will hear it back. Micro detail is incredibly reproduced. This one is only set for $450. Another thing that I like is how much engaging to listen. E70 Velvet really shines when you try with a bunch of different music, right? It shows you real sound signature and sound color and reproduction out of this deck. Especially, for example, when I try with brightly recorded Olivia Rodrigo's Brutal. That track is really nicely reproduced without getting into the bright, bright sounding guitar riffs and everything, yet still retaining and reproducing very good dynamic sound signature, including her vocals. Vocals are very precisely, naturally reproduced. And when I try uh, Taylor Swift's uh, Anti-Hero, right, that music has lots of layers of uh, synthesizers and organs and keyboards and everything beautifully reproduced. Soundscape is very wide and deep and rich sound signature, very good mid-range, regardless of what type of music you throw at them. So 2000 hertz to 5000 hertz range, upper mid-range region is very well defined and very well controlled without introducing you to bright sound reproduction. Probably this is most musical, most analog like topping product ever. Regardless of the price point, musically accurate, incredibly reproduced in every notes in engaging manner, such as a 5,000 hertz to 10,000 hertz, a high, re high regions are very well controlled with great frequency extension, as well as very good separation between the notes, layering or all the textures and air and space between the notes are just about perfectly reproduced without getting into bright sounding sound signature. That could be really great buy for if you are looking for that kind of sound reproduction in highs area. Frequency extension is very good and good amount of air and space that you can totally enjoy listening to. The mid-range region, especially upper mid-range region is very good from 2000 to 5000 hertz region is very well reproduced with great definition and detail with very good separation without getting into any bright sound signature. I would say slightly better in terms of a timbre and texture and toner balance, slightly better than a lot of other decks, including one of my favorite uh, D300 from SMS Audio. Total five stars worthy sound quality out of this E70 Velvet, regardless of uh, what music you listen to. So it's only come down to your personal taste and your pairing component. I will suggest you to pair with neutral sounding speakers. If you have a really rich and deep and thick sounding speaker, it may not work well. Speakers with a little bit brighter side of sound signature to neutral sounding sound signature, this one will work wonderfully well. Rear analog like sound quality, it has the depth it has the skill and wide sound stage as well as giving you really good stereo image. Everything is well placed and well reproduced, very enjoyable to listen. Best of all, sub bass reproduction is unlike any other, especially in this price point. I try many different decks, right? So this one is really surprised me. Overall tonality, tonal balance, musicality, timbre, texture, layering, micro detail, you name it, this will deliver you. Only thing that uh, lacking is the deep, deep, dark background. That is understandable because that is power supply issue. So 
For the price and performance and sound quality ratio, this one threw my jaw on the floor because I haven't heard any deck as close to analog rig as this E70 Velvet can deliver. If you want really vivid and spacious and dynamic attack, this may not be a great choice, but if you want very good musical sounding, tonally engaging with great timbre and accurate musicality and sound signature, vocals are as natural as it can be, high quality sound without spending a lot of money. So I can go on and on and keep on going with this E70 Velvet. So this E70 Velvet is my highest recommendation for you to try it if you want very musical sounding deck under $500 price range. That's it, my friend. Thank you very much for watching and happy listening.
Joel Ray on the bass, Mr. Tony Boy Keski on the guitar, Olmayoski Sanchez. Yeah. 